How do you tech? How, how, how do you tech? Ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about dirty laundry in <laughs> space now. And he's looking at me like, what? Why are we talking about dirty yes, laundry? Why, why, why does anyone... I already got too much dirty laundry at home. I don't need more and think about more in space. But uh, today we're telling you guys how do astronauts actually do laundry in space. And the short answer is they don't. But obviously we're going to be telling you the long answer. Yes, indeed. Now, this is actually a big issue that NASA has been discussing over the past few days, and that's exactly why we're bringing it up right here on Future Talk. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't think dirty laundry would be an issue with astronauts, but it actually is. And it makes sense because when we think about how astronauts live, they don't necessarily take showers like we would. They can't use water in large quantities. Uh, they don't eat food the way we do. Everything is different when we're talking about living in outer yes. space. So NASA wants to basically change the whole issue of how they deal with laundry. Typically, they just wear the laundry and then when they can't take it anymore because of how dirty it has gotten, they consider it junk. They throw it away. They don't reuse those clothes. NASA wants to change that. If not for the International Space Station, well, they want to do that because we're looking at the moon and Mars and we're looking at Mars becoming uh, our next home one yes. day. So they want to stop throwing dirty clothes every single year in tons and tons of them. So they've teamed up with another company to try and figure out the best way to clean astronauts' clothes in space. Yes, and a very well-known company that yes. you probably use every single day and we're talking about tide <laughs> yes the tide detergent and stain removal experiments and they want to take it all the way to the space station later this year and the next and all a part of the galactic battle against soiled and sweaty clothes now we do know that it is no small problem especially as the u.s and other countries do look to establish bases on the moon and mars so at one point in time we do need to know how to clean our clothes in space now we do know that rocket cargo space is tight and expensive and obviously that is according to nasa so why should we waste it on new outfits if their clothes could be kept looking and smelling fresh and when you figure an astronaut needs at least 68 kgs of clothes in space per year that's an expensive life a sh how 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 heavy is a shirt like 100 grand to 300 maybe grand, even 400 grams we're talking about 68 kilograms of clothes and clothes in space per year that do i mean it does add up especially when you're on a three-year mm -hmm. mars mission so we're talking about a 68 times three around um 200 kilograms worth of clothes going all the way to space and when you think about it astronauts you know they're not living the glamorous life in outer space they're exercising whether it was physically or mentally and they're always they're always working out, if that makes sense. So mm. they they would exercise, just bluntly exercise, for at least two hours every single day to try and fight all of the bone withering effects of weightlessness. And they would typically leave those workouts sweaty, smelly, and sniffy, and just away from use because they can't use them anymore. And then they would go ahead and disregard them. So. What they've done, what NASA has done and many other uh, space station partners is try and look into a special mm -hmm. form of clothes that we've actually talked about earlier on Future Talk. And that's called the antimicrobial uh, clothes or technology, which would typically prolong the wear of a person with any form of item or with any piece of clothes because it would prevent bacteria from growing on this specific piece of item. But at the same time, there's only so much time where you could wear this in outer mm -hmm. space. At the end of the day, you still have to clean it. You still have to wash it. So yes. one other thing that they've done is, as we've mentioned, they've teamed up with Tide to try and find a new formula uh, for those astronauts. And they've actually teamed up with uh, PNG to, cry, to try and create a washer-dryer co combo that could operate even in weightlessness. So even on the moon or in Mars, they would use minimal amounts of water and detergent and they would help clean those astronauts' clothes. Yes, and they're also looking at a stain removal pen. Now, that stain removal pen and wipes will be delivered for testing by astronauts. I mean, it's really crazy how uh, soon enough, again, this is becoming real life. We will be on the moon and even mm -hmm. maybe Mars as our home, as our base, as our station, whatever you want to call it. 
Let us know your guys' thoughts. 4215. Do or it's a lot. Or on our Instagram app, Pulse95 Radio. Who would have thought laundry is an issue for astronauts? <laughs> I never thought NASA would be out here looking for a solution to deal with dirty yeah, laundry. Yeah, I mean, again, uh, it's just crazy. There's a lot of things we don't know about what's happening in space and in the International Space Station. Apparently, everyone smells funky up there. <laughs> Maybe that's why uh, when they come down here, they take a shower and they... <laughs> I know they miss showering with just the regular... Shower, showering is refreshing, so... Yeah, and, and... Not being refreshed for a month, for years, <laughs> for a year. It's a lot. And not being able to, you know, follow your day-to-day routine. There are so many things that we take for granted right here on Earth, like regular food, like showers. regular water, showers, your laundry, getting to do it in a washing machine. I think I'm going to go home today and really appreciate do, do my laundry uh, it's already done actually okay. but appreciate my washing machine and my dryer i mean it's the little things in life that we take for granted let us know if you've actually seen uh, this story on social media platforms it's been everywhere nasa has really been looking for any solution and every solution future talk is coming to an end but we are welcoming the weekend with a very special show the afternoon karak is coming in today with their weekend recommendation mikhail ati will be giving you all the latest movies and shows that will keep you entertained during this weekend. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, do remember that the COVID-19 pandemic is still alive and well. Do wear your mask, do sanitize, do social distance. Don't do a lot of things that will get you the COVIDs. <laughs> so please, ladies and gentlemen, please stay safe. We're almost done with this pandemic. Trust me, right here in the UAE, thankfully, alhamdulillah, we see a lot of people getting vaccinated. Yes. And that is the number one fight against COVID-19, our number one weapon against COVID-19. But again, this does conclude Future Talk for today. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you Sunday, same time, same place, only here on Pulse 95. 95. Pulse.